Okay, so I know why they uh, why they make their water all dirty. If you notice, they'll go to their food, and then they'll take that over to the water. And I think they use that to kind of mush it up. I'll see a lot of uh, a lot of uh, particles in the water. So that's kind of funny. I did put some grit in there um, just to see if they wanted that. Uh, maybe that'll help them a little bit. That's kind of funny that they'll go back and forth and put that food in the water. But everyone looks like they're doing good. I did catch them sleeping um, about right there. So I raised the heat lamp up, uh, maybe another six inches or so. Um, it's pretty warm in Seattle, it's humid. I think it's like 75 inside and it's pretty humid, so not worried about them being cold or anything. But it looks like a rally when they're feeding and going to the water, and that's probably why there's no water left. So I just, they were out of water, and I put it in there in probably five minutes, it's already halfway down. So I'm thinking about new ways to, uh, you know, give them water. Um, I've seen more people use a PV, like a big PVC pipe, and they'll, um, take a, they'll cut out holes in it so that just the ducks can fit their heads in. So it'd kind of look like that purple tray. Um... And then they're not able to, like, you know, walk in there or anything like that. Might make it a little, a little cleaner. Um, that's what I'm planning on doing with their house. Um, but nothing yet. They sure they're getting big. Um, everyone looks fine. There's not really any runts or anything. Oh, maybe that one. And their feathers are getting a little darker and everything, so uh, everything's going good. I'm just uh, giving them plenty of water, uh, raising their heat lamp if they're not under it and they're not sleeping under it, and I'll clean out this uh, styrofoam tray every day and spray it off really good. I'll try to take out as much wet pine shavings as I can, and uh, I guess that's why all these pine shavings get wet, just because they go back and forth. Um, yeah, so, uh, that's Saturday for us.